welcome back to this next video and uh, in this video we are going to talk about the uh, Hershey and Chase experiment the uh, Hershey and Chase experiments uh, they were a series of experiments conducted in 1952 by Alfred Hershey uh, who was an American bacteriologist and Martha Chase who was an uh, American geneticist that helped to confirm that DNA is the uh, genetic material uh, while DNA has been known to biologists since 1869, many scientists they still assumed at that particular time that protein carried the information for inheritance, uh, because DNA is uh, because DNA at that particular time appeared to be an inert molecule, and since it is located in the nucleus, uh, it truly was considered to be uh, in phos the storage of the uh, phosphorus. Uh, at that particular time, the scientists, they were uh, considering the uh, protein as the uh, material for inheritance because if you talk about the protein, they are made up of 20 different amino acids. If you talk about the DNA, DNA is made up of uh, four uh, nucleotide. So they thought that is yes, there are uh, many traits in the living organisms. So that particular molecule uh, that uh, should fit for inheritance. Uh, which contain uh, a variety and as protein because of 20 amino acid had more variety as compared to the DNA because it contained four nucleotide it was thought at that particular time of course this is not the case at this particular time but at that time is they, they said that is the protein is made up of 20 amino acids the DNA is made up of four nucleotides the variety is more in the proteins therefore the protein that fit uh, as an inheritance molecule as compared to the DNA. Now in their experiments, uh, one of the important thing that the Hershey and Chase uh, did, that they uh, selected their uh, organism uh, very wisely. Uh, they selected bacteriophages for their experiment because the uh, bacteriophages, they only contain DNA and the protein. And these were the two molecules uh, that were uh, the candidates for the uh, inheritance molecule at that particular time. Now, these when the what these bacteriophages do is they they infect bacteria, and when they infect bacteria, they enter their DNA into the bacterial host cell, but their protein that does not enter the bacterial cell. So the selection of the uh, organism by uh, Hershey and Chase that was one of the most important. Uh, uh, point that lead to the success in proving that uh, DNA that is the uh, heredity material. So the experiment of the Hershey and Chase and subsequent discoveries that all serve to prove that DNA is the heredity material and protein that is not the heredity material. Now Hershey shared the 1969 Nobel Prize in uh, Physiology and Medicine with uh, Max Delbruck and uh, Salvador Doria for their discoveries concerning the uh, genetic structure of their viruses and this is yet uh, another proof how important their work was that if they were getting a Nobel Prize for their work their work uh, was very important uh, considering the uh, genetic material of the cell. Now how they Hershey and the Chase they uh, performed their experiment when you talk about the bacteriophages, they are made up of two things, one protein and the other one that is the DNA. So what you can do is that if you label the protein, if you label the DNA, you can actually use that labeling to identify that which of the component of the bacteriophage that is entering into the bacterial cell and which of the component that is not entering into the bacterial cell. To do that, you have to uh, choose an element which is present in the protein if you are labeling the protein so you have to choose that particular element which is only present in the protein and that is not present in the dna if you are labeling dna you have to choose an element which is only present in the dna and which is not present in the protein and two such elements they were identified by hershey and cheese they labeled the uh, protein with a radioactive element of the sulfur because sulfur is only present in the proteins uh, in cysteine the sulfur is present so as the cysteine that is part of the uh, protein so if you are using the uh, radioactive sulfur that means you are labeling the protein and as sulfur is absent in the DNA that means by using the radioactive sulfur 
you are not labeling the DNA. On the other hand, the uh, uh, phosphorus that is only present in the DNA and that is not present in the protein. So the Hershey and Chase, they used the uh, radioactive phosphorus element for labeling the DNA because that was only present in their, uh, only present in the DNA and not in the protein. Now they performed two set of the experiments. In one of the experiment uh, that is present on the uh, this left side, they labeled the uh, proteins. And what they did was when they labeled the uh, bacteriophages, the protein of the bacteriophages, they used these phages uh, to infect the bacteria. So the first step was labeling the bacteriophages and then allowing them to uh, infect the bacteria. When they allowed the bacteriophage to uh, infect the bacteria, then they perform this uh, blending uh, step. And this is very important because when the uh, bacteriophages, they enter their uh, DNA into the cell, this protein component that is still attached to the cell. That means that if you are going for the, the centrifugation uh, in the latter part, that is going to create a confusion. So this uh, blending part of the experiment, that is very important because what the blending do is that when you mix the bacteriophages and the uh, bacteria and then you agitate them using a, a blender that is going to free that parts of the phage which are present outside the bacteria from the cell. So if you look at the blending over here, you are actually removing this outer part of the bacteriophage and that is uh, not uh, present on the surface of the bacterial cell now. After that, after the blending, when you have removed the uh, uh, parts of the bacteriophage which are present outside the bacteria, then you are going for the uh, centrifugation. And what the centrifugation do is that they separate the component based on their density. So if you talk about the bacterial cell, as they are denser, they are going to be present in the uh, pellet of the tube after centrifugation because of their high density. And the other component, like the component of the phage which are present outside the bacteria, and all the other component because of their uh, lighter density as compared to the bacterial cell, they are going to be present in the supernatant. What they observe in this particular experiment is that the uh, radioactivity that was present in the supernatant and that was not present in the uh, pellet. Now that means that the protein coat as you have labeled the uh, protein uh, with a radioactive sulfur and if you are uh, uh, getting the uh, radioactivity of sulfur in the supernatant part and the cells they are present in the pellet that means that the bacteriophages they do not enter their protein part into the bacterial cell and they remain outside the uh, bacterial cell. In the other experiment what they did was that they labeled the uh, DNA with the phosphorus again they allowed this uh, radio labeled uh, bacteriophage to infect the bacterial cell. They allowed the uh, blending so that the outer part of the bacteriophage which are present outside the uh, bacteria they are removed from the uh, bacterial cell and after centrifugation what they observed was that the uh, uh, in the pellet they were actually observing the uh, 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 radioactivity for the uh, uh, phosphorus P53 this is not uh, uh, S35 this is actually uh, P32 this is a uh, uh, mistake this is not P35 this is P32 and again this is P32 so what they did was that is the cell that were present in the pellet now in this particular experiment what they found out was that the uh, radioactivity that was present in the pellet and that was not present in the uh, uh, that was not present in the supernatant what this mean was that the bacteriophages they were actually inserting their uh, dna into the bacterial cell and is the bacterial cell after the centrifugation they are in the pellet because of their higher density uh, this proves that the uh, bac uh, the bacteriophage if they are entering their dna for making more of them this proves that DNA is the genetic material and the protein that is not the uh, genetic material.